Hey, what is going on, everybody? Tom from TomsColdDirt.com. And today, I'm not forgetting my shovel. Hey, look at you. Just look at that. And we're here. Hey, so this place is actually where I found the biggest piece of gold I've ever found in this creek. And I found it right about there. <laughs> I was goofing off. But that goofing off led me to think, I bet there's gold on that sandbar. Problem is, is a lot of people go through here and if there's gold on that sandbar, I'm likely gonna get seen finding it. So. Um, I'm still going to try it out though. <laughs> Let's see if there's any gold in this sandbar. Comment down below if you think I found gold in this bucket or this pan. See if we have any gold from the first sandbar. All right, so let's see if we find any gold from the test pan. But do you see all that gold? Me neither. The test pan didn't have any gold in it, but that doesn't mean 
because the test pan was pretty much off the surface. That doesn't mean it's not down in there a little deeper, which is what I'm hoping. Okay, folks, so as you saw there earlier, I set up the DGP2 out here, and uh, I didn't bring the right pump, so we're going to have a little water flow issue for sure, but I am going to uh, try to make do with what I got since I'm already here. Uh, we're going to try to run some of that material I just took from that front sandbar. Didn't find anything in the, in the uh, test pan, but lots of black sand, so there's definitely a chance it could be there. Like I said, this is the creek I found my biggest, or this is close to the spot. I found my biggest piece of gold, so uh, let's run this stuff and see if we uh, can't have any luck with this slow pump. <laughs> See what we did. Oh, and I uh, want to give a shout out to Ron F. He sent me some uh, leftover V matting he had, and it just so happened to fit that perfectly. <laughs> Even without that good water flow, that V-matting does catch the heavies. It's such a simple design, but it's been used for a long, 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 long time. Look at all that tall black sand, for the most part. That was about half a bucket. And I overfed it. I know I overfed it. Wow, we got a lot of heavies in here. This is exciting. A big heavy rock right there. I don't know what that is, but it's like iron or something. If you guys know Gary from Pirate Prospecting, he and I came out here one time uh, up far that way. We were finding all kinds of these silverish looking metallic rocks. And there's a lot of that in here. And I don't know what it is. I don't know if, if you ever found out pirate prospecting, but it's there's still a lot of that stuff in here. Holy cow. You can't probably see it, but that is a nice chunk of gold. I hope that stays right there. I bet there's a lot more of it. Oh man, oh my. Hooey. Is that gold? No way. No. Oh, that one tricked me. <laughs> the other one was, but that one ain't. There's lots of flower gold in here, I think. Oh, I'm not even showing you guys. I can't see it yet myself, so don't feel too bad. I'm 
not dumping this pan out, I can guarantee it. Whew. All right, I'll bring you back when I get it clean. Right up there is a pretty nice little speck, and then there's two more over here, but you can't probably see them that good. So a pretty nice little pan, and I'm definitely not throwing this stuff away. I'll have to go back through it when I get home. But that's pretty nice indication that there's pretty gold, on, pretty good gold on that sandbar. So I'm going to have to revisit that spot for sure. I think I'm going to do one more test pan at the bottom of the hole I first started uh, when I first got here. Um, that Those unsearched, that the unsearched dirt in that bucket is what goes into Tom's gold dirt. Um, generally, I don't search that material. So you saw what happened in the bucket that I did up there on the top end of this, um, the, the further, um, can't talk, English is failing me, sandbar. And so um, this one here that I'm standing on, which is where I got that first bucket from, is where I found the biggest flake I've ever found on this creek. So I figured that is where we'll go into the next batch of Tom's gold dirt. Um, it gives you a chance to find the dirt or the gold that I find when I make these videos for you guys. Now, if you want another chance to win the gold I found in the making of this video, all you have to be is a Patreon member. So one of my lucky Patreon members is going to win this bottle, which is the concentrates um, from the orange bucket that I got from that sandbar that has at least three pieces of gold in it. That's a big bird. Uh, but could have more. I don't know. Um, your, your skills will determine uh, how much gold you take out of here. Um, but um, there's at least three little tiny free pieces of gold for you. So um, if you're a $10 level Patreon member, you get 10. If you're a $1 level, you get one. And anything in between, same thing. One, one for one. $1 don't, uh, contributor gets a one, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So I'm going to do that when I get home tonight. And uh, at the end of this video, I'll tell you who it is. So one of my lucky Patreon members, don't even know it yet, but you're getting this. And you'll know at the end of this video, so you better keep watching. <laughs> okay, just going to jump in and tell you who the winner is real quick. So I just did a random comment picker based on uh, the total number of patrons and each dollar pledged. And the winner was Flash in Your Pan Production. So congratulations, Ed. You have now got my concentrates from this video. Well, that's going to do it for this video, folks. I really hope you enjoyed I don't know exactly at this point what I have came up with to present to you, uh, but I know somebody's getting some free gold dirt <laughs> from uh, this adventure. So if you're a Patreon member and you won, congratulations to you. But to everybody else, all you got to do is donate at least a buck a month, and you're eligible to get in on all the live stream giveaways uh, for Patreon only. And then if you donate $10 a month, you get uh, eligible to win stuff like sluices, high bankers. I said that because we've, we've got that in the works. Uh, high bankers, um, all kinds, you name it, prospecting stuff, dirt, gold, silver, and more. Uh, just uh, join the Tom's Gold Dirt on Patreon, and, and you'll be eligible to win all that stuff as well. Uh, your support goes a long way, and I truly do appreciate it. Um, we just got two new members, um, Sam and Rob, so welcome. Thank you for joining the, the Patreon. I really, really do appreciate your support. And thank you, Ron F. Uh, as I give you a shout-out, I don't know if I've edited it out, uh, for that V matting you sent me, sir. I truly do appreciate that. So to all of you, I strongly encourage you to get out here. Not exactly here, but in your own area. Not Tom's area. Chris Dyer, watch out. Don't you dare. Uh, no. Uh, and uh, enjoy nature, because it's here. So let's enjoy it, right? Get you some gold, some free gold. It's better than uh, buying it, but... Uh, if you got to buy it, just go to tomsgolddirt.com. Right now, we're actually, we do have uh, JP Lons and Benzo experiences. Um, so get those two. Anyway, get yourself an RPE sluice on tomsgolddirt.com. Uh, we're including shipping in the cost right now, which is pretty darn cheap. And uh, we gave two away for Patreon. We'll give two away again next month. Uh, and we try to do that every month. So I don't know what else I can say. I'm just rambling because I don't want to leave this. Because when I leave this, I got to go home and make dinner. I don't want to do that. It's so pretty out here. Good luck, God bless, and I'll see you on the next one.